we have here, these are 100 year old carbon filament Christmas tree lights. And they are indeed carbon filament. You can take a look at the loopy filament there. These are strings of nine lights running on 110 volts in series. If one goes out, they all go out. So you want to be sure you run these things on, uh, on a dimmer switch. And uh, they're on cloth, telco wire. These were made for telephone switchboards. And back in the early days when Christmas light sets were the equivalent of a whole week's wages to buy one set of lights, uh, oftentimes uh, merchants would rent out sets of lights uh, and you'd hire an electrician to wire your Christmas tree with them. And uh, they would take them back after the season was over. And uh, they were highly expensive. These here, uh, the... Uh, telephone company switchboard lights, uh, enterprising people, uh, telco people and electricians realized that they could make their own Christmas lights using the telephone company product. And uh, these are Western Electric wooden based carbon filament lamps. Uh, and uh, as I said, they're, they're 100 years old, they may be a little older. The wiring is telco wiring. It's cloth covered, green cloth covered wiring, and it's stiff wire, and it's supposed to be stiff. That way you can bend the wire around the branch and it would stay put and it would stay upright like little candles. They were hand painted uh, using red paint, and this is what's left of blue paint, and this one used to be green before most of the paint burned off. But that's what happens when something's 100 years old. So anyway, I have five sets of these carbon filament lamps. Uh, I think they're worth a couple to $300 per string. I'm going to sell them for $50 per string. And that's it. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. As I said, I have five strings total. Uh, they have a regular AC plug on them. At one, When they were on the tree, these all came from the same family. When they were on the tree, they had a junction box in the middle of the tree that they kind of a crudely handmade junction box where all five were tied together in parallel. But now they just have a regular old-fashioned style AC plug on them. But the strings themselves are, uh, are, are in great condition for their age. They're remarkable. And it's really a part of uh, an important part of historical Christmas lighting. So as I say, if you're interested, let me know.